In this video, I'm just going to explain the spreadsheet that I'm going to be uploading shortly. What this is, is uh, I just did this in Word. Um, it's a quick little review on how to convert between the different coordinate systems. And I'm just going to go over this table briefly. What we have here is you have this left column, which the left column can be basically uh, what you have. So let's say if you are moving in the x direction, you would want to be looking in this row right here. So if we wanted to go from x to say um, x to say y, then you would multiply that magnitude by zero. Or if you wanted to go from x to say um, I don't know, to x to the, the theta component, what you would do is you would multiply it by negative sine theta. It's not at all redundant to go through these kind of things because later on when you start going into a little bit more complicated things, what you're going to realize is that using a table similar to this um, will eliminate the need for you to uh, think about things so deeply and you can just kind of trust the math, okay? Trust the dot products. Dot products are fairly uh, simple to understand, but anyway, let's, let's just scroll on down here. And uh, what I'm doing here is I'm explaining what the setup is required to use this table. So um, first of all, if we're talking about, say, um, if you look here, if we just look here, there's our Cartesian. Okay, so anything that we want to do with a Cartesian involves these, all in the yellow. Okay, and you can actually kind of ex you can see since they're all 90 degrees, um, you can see that the way they relate to one another is very. Um, 0, 1, 0, 1. It, it, they only interact with themselves because they're all 90 degrees from each other. Hence, dot products of things that are 90 degrees from each other cancels out to 0. So, um, then if we switch over, let's say, to the cylindrical, which is cylindrical is right here, this section, and this section, And what's nice about that is that you can see a similar thing going on in the middle. All very similar. And that's because within that coordinate system, e each um, arm is 90 degrees from each other. That makes sense. And then it, But there's a certain um, protocol that you need to go through to use this table and that's what I kind of want to emphasize on. Let me hit the last topic, uh, I mean the last uh, coordinate system here and what you see is you have the polar and your polar coordinate system which has very similar as the other ones to be expected but there's a certain uh, layout that we need to have to use this so let's just scroll on down Whoa. So there's a, a, a certain layout that we need to use this, so let's scroll on down. Okay, right here. And so what you can see is that we're going to always establish x along some horizontal plane and y in a vertical fashion. Realize that Z is really sticking out of the paper here, but I just didn't draw it. Really, I mean, there should be a dot here, and it should say Z. But one thing that I want you to realize is that your theta is always going to be based off of zero degrees, which zero degrees is X.
this is zero degrees. So no matter what, when you are measuring, when you are measuring the theta, I want you to start doing it this fashion, in this fashion, going counterclockwise. And that's how I want you to do theta. And that's why when I labeled it, I said, okay, theta is right here. Theta is uh, based off of the x. So just casing point, uh, let me scroll on down here for a second. If we have, once again, another circle, here's your x, here's your y, okay? And here, let's just change the color here to brownish or something, and let's say we have our r going off in this direction, okay? What I want you to realize that you have to do is this is your theta. As long as you follow this pattern, as long as you do this, um, all the signs and everything will work out and you won't have to worry about it. So just follow this protocol and you won't have to worry about it. That's what I'm trying to do. Alleviate some of that uh, negative, positive, don't worry about switching signs, just follow this fashion and you can use this table up above. Okay, um, over to the right here, you have uh, your polar coordinates, which uh, obviously it's a big circle, and a uh, big sphere actually, and um, you still have your generic um, x and y, and and then actually, oops, and your z. And that's your Cartesian basis right there. And um, what you can do is you just set those up into easily um, correlated settings. So that way, when you start looking at the polar coordinates, it's easier to, to deduce. So, um, and all you do is, um, realize that this is the Z portion and right here is the R and actually I, I don't need to write it right here because I think I put it just down here yeah see um, what we have here is you have your R which is your your big that's your big one that's that's the the R that's the distance to an object from any stand alone point and then you have you know how how high is that point off the ground that's z and then remember in your cylindrical coordinates you had a r component here let me just draw a little circle for us and a highlighter circle cool um, what we have is you have a center point and some radius r well this r these two r's are one and the same they're one and the same they're the same thing so yeah um, all I'm trying to emphasize here is that there's some sort of triangle that forms on top of the radius and in, in obviously the, the ZR um, plane. So, um, and that's what forms your, the, uh, your, your phi and your theta and your R. So just to kind of recap, um, you can get uh, your Cartesian, I'm just gonna say C, that is a function of X, Y, and Z. You have your cylindrical, which is a function of r, theta, z. And then you have your polar, which is a function of capital R, theta, phi. And just as a reminder, you can see the similarities right here and also you can see the similarities right here and these are somewhat 
uh, the links between the different uh, systems. You can do this with any of them. I I'm just uh, realize that these links make things easier to translate and usually can be used as a path. Um, uh, indication whether you want to stick with either a Cartesian or cylindrical, you might look into um, is this is it valuable to keep this still in the z axis uh, in the z coordinate system, um, similar to the theta. If you see wheels a lot, then I might consider you know what. Regardless, if I see wheels, I'm going to want theta to be around. So um, anyway, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Um, I'm going to be uploading this onto some uh, file hosting website, but I, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and please leave any comments if you want more stuff like this. You guys take it easy.